In the Robot Skies is the first fiction film shot entirely with pre-programmed autonomous drones. And what we we're trying to do there was explore the ways that drones are being used in mass surveillance systems. The film is set in London, and at the time that we made it, the, the British police were starting to use drones in their surveillance system. They were using drones to monitor council estates, like um, uh, lower income housing, and to, um, to, to follow people um, as they go, and supposedly to keep us safe, but also to keep us under control in various ways. So what we wanted to do was explore what that viewpoint of us might start to look like to explore the way that drones see. So we programmed these drones to follow a group of actors through a council estate in London. And the actors would just run their lines and these drones would make their own decisions about how to follow them through a scene and how high to fly, how to stabilize themselves. So what we're seeing in the film is literally the way that drones would see us and to visualize that. My role as a director was really just to edit the footage that the drones were capturing themselves. And the story that they're following is a story that might take place in some of these, some of these low income um, social housing spaces. Here we have two teenagers, a girl and a guy, who have been put under house arrest. And they've been restricted by this network of drones from leaving their house. What the young girl does though, is she hacks one of the drones and like kids in an old fashioned classroom who would write notes on bits of paper and you know, send it across the room to each other, she would graffiti the drone or write notes on the drone or send little presents on the drone and send it back and forth between the towers to her boyfriend trapped in the tower opposite. So this infrastructure, this system of technology that was designed to keep them apart, they can hack them and use them as a way to fall in love. So really it's a story about how drones are cultural objects. They're not these objective eyes in the sky, but they're things that are the manifestations and the products of our own system of values. If we can, you know, the same drone technology can be used to spy on us, to, to peer in a teenage girl's bedroom when she's getting changed or to bring us together to deliver vaccines to indigenous communities out in the distant rainforest. No technology is neutral. It's all a projection or an extension of ourselves. And what this film is trying to do is to bring drones down to a scale that we can start to understand them and connect with them and imagine the implications, both good and bad, both wondrous and really scary um, so that we can think about whether these technologies are things we want to invest in or not. At the time that we made the film, it was possible to go into a toy shop and for a couple of hundred dollars, buy a 4K resolution camera drone and learn to fly it like a professional in half an hour. Drones are at this really interesting point where there are now more civilian drones in the air than there are military drones. And that's kind of the point at which we like to operate in our work, to, to engage technologies at the point in which they're just about to become accessible and democratized, because that's when the most interesting stories occur. That's when we see technologies being misused or reinterpreted in ways that they weren't intended. And that's really what In the Robot Skies as a film is about.